Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to test out 12.6.4 FSD on our Hardware 3 Model Y uh, after we cleaned out the front camera housing. Uh, check out that video if you want to see how we did that. Um, and then I also did a camera calibration after that because I figured that it probably needed to have a uh, camera calibration after we <laughs> cleaned out that glass so we're just gonna see how it does uh, do a mixture of side streets and a little bit of the interstate um, and see how it goes and uh, already like in this same area before we did it <laughs> before we cleaned out that housing and did another camera calibration uh, it would be hugging this left side of the lane here Right now, it seems to be right in the middle of the lane, which is what we want, obviously. Um, it would also act strange around uh, green lights, um, or when it stopped to the red light, it would stop way far back and then turn green, it wouldn't go. Um, so, so far, <laughs> I'm just cautiously optimistic here. It looks like it's a lot better. I mean, I did drive it around a little bit after I got the camera calibration done. I went ahead and put it in FSD for a little bit just to, to see. I was worried that basically nothing was going to fix the problems we were having with 12.6.4, but it looks like so far we seem to be doing pretty good. So we've got it here uh, going on to the interstate. So the side streets. So far, so good. Um, speed control is good, of course. We have a lead car, so it's a little bit hard to tell. Sometimes it performs better if you have a lead car, but. All right, so speed limit is 70. This is technically the lane that we need to be in anyway, because we're exiting this first exit. Uh, but it is only getting up to 65, which is a little bit slower than I would think that it could get up to. There's nobody in front of us, so. But again, we are exiting right here, so not a big deal. Now this turn up here, it is a keep moving. So we're going to see how well that does. It's red light, but it is a keep moving. And there's a cop behind us, so I'm not going to I'm not going to let it do anything too weird. I did put my foot just like right on top of the accelerator waiting, but thankfully it went through like it should. So no problems there. But yeah, we do have a, a cop right behind us, so that's why I'm not going to let it go too crazy. All right, so all of that was very good. I'm going to go ahead and actually disengage. Don't really want to go right into that parking lot. And we'll get a new destination. I'm going to do... Papa John's. Oh. All right. Let's see which way it's going to go. Um, a little bit of a weird way, but that's fine. All right, so we're back on FSD here side streets again again so far so good speed control is pretty good it's 35 here we're going 37 that's good I think my offset is 15% so uh, it says it can go up to 40 max I think it's 15% yeah 15% um, so yeah 39 this is comfortable it's 
So I feel pretty good about <laughs> the effort we made to clean out that camera housing and the glass. I'm surprised that that would have anything to do with it at all. Uh, especially because 12.6.3 had no problems. And also, as the other video I had um, showed, the regular plain old autopilot had no problems uh, with whatever state the camera housing was in. And I looked, I looked at it, but I couldn't really see that it, it looked that uh, hazy or anything like that. No condensation. Um, but I mean, I'm sure some builds up over the time. So it's like we've had this car for three years, so possibly that is the case. I really do hope, though, that that's not something that would normally need to be done with any car that... You know, any Tesla that has full self-driving, like, after a few years, you're going to have to dismantle the camera housing and clean it out in order for it to work properly. That wouldn't be good. So I really hope that whatever caused this to happen, possibly just on Hardware 3 cars, um, that they've solved for it in later hardware. Um you know, maybe done something with the housing that's different, or I don't know what they could have done, but it wasn't too bad uh, changing that out. So it took me about 20 minutes, and uh, so far, <laughs> totally worth it. But again, strange to have to have done that at all. sure is nice to have had uh, to have it working again after all those camera calibrations not doing anything um, it finally feels like we actually got it this time it did require the camera calibration though I did take it out immediately after cleaning the camera housing without a camera calibration and it was still acting crazy like it was before um, which kind of makes sense I guess because whatever it had done to cal calibrate the cameras at that time was based on the state of <laughs> that glass in front of the cameras at that point so yeah so turns are smooth I mean this isn't as smooth as version 13 but this is really close. It's like the closest to version 13 that I've seen. Uh, and the fact that it's on the hardware three, you know, I don't think that they're going to be able to get unsupervised uh, FSD on the hardware three. So possibly this is about as good as it's going to get. Um, I don't think version 13 is ready for unsupervised. I don't know if that's going to be version 14, but in any case, they don't seem to be getting version 13 on hardware 3, so this might be the end of the line for uh, hardware 3 cars, which is a shame. Uh, now, we did purchase FSD in this car, so in theory, we would get the free upgrade to hardware 4 or whatever's required to make it. Uh, unsupervised FSD however likely that's going to be way down the road because first they're going to prove it out with their in-house vehicles then they're going to roll it out to more and more places and more and more like hardware four vehicles and then after all of that they'll probably decide to start trading out or swapping out the hardware three cars with hardware four stuff so well I mean I guess we'll see if it uh, decides to park oh wow that's but see that's the thing it did before on I think it was 12.6.3 actually it decided last minute that it wasn't going to make that turn into the uh, parking lot there and go a little bit further so is it gonna park Put the turn signal on. 
yeah it's parking very poorly but it is parking it's it's actually parked directly on top of a line <laughs> but that is actually exactly uh, how it performed before on 12.6.3. So I'm actually pretty happy that everything seems to be back to the way it was uh, on 12.6.3. And I mean, presumably 12.6.4 has a little bit um, better things to it, but I'm not sure what that would be. So yeah, that seems to have uh, fixed version 12.6.4 and a hardware 3 model Y. Just cleaning out the camera housing, that's all we had to do. Uh, of course, with the camera calibration after that, but uh, you know, I wish there was some way I would have known that without somebody just commenting. Thank you to that commenter on that previous video. I had never, it never crossed my mind that it could be a coincidence, that, you know, that it was actually a software version that suddenly would not work well with whatever condensation or buildup there might have been on that glass. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.